Welcome back, everybody, to more Memories Dogma. Four days left until Serrano's memories are completely wiped from the Connection Center. Who knows what's going to happen? We're going to find out right now. It smells like summer. Don't you love that summer smell? You know, it's that earthy smell that tells you it's going to rain soon. You know the one. The sun, which had been blazing down on us just moments before, is suddenly covered by huge cu cu ah, cumulonimbus clouds. The chirping of cicadas ceases, replaced by the sound of the wind blowing through the Zalkova trees. Oh. Serrano's right in front of me. Serrano. I'm sorry, nature's just so beautiful. Still kind of spacing out, I give a vague reply as Serrano smiles mischievously. I'm not hopeless. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's what she was talking about. School had ended and Serrano and I had started heading towards the shrine as usual. ケーキ <laughs> <laughs> Serrano smiling so happily, I can't help but smile too. And then Serrano points past the shrine gates to the inside compound. I wonder how many times I've heard that line these past three years. Waiting here for Serrano has become like a daily routine for me now. So there's nothing strange about this scene. So why do I feel like I can't let her pass under those gates? Why? Serrano doesn't sense my worry as she happily heads off towards the shrine. Why? With the skirt of her one piece fluttering in the wind, it feels like Serrano could just float away into the summer sky. Why? Why is she going over there? Why is she flying off? Why am I so worried? I try to call out, but my voice won't come out. Meanwhile, Serrano keeps on getting further and further away. At this rate, she'll pass through the gates. I've got to stop her somehow. Serrano, wait for me! I try to run after Serrano, yet for some reason I can't move a single step from where I'm standing. All I can do is silly watch as Serrano gets further and further away. Why am I so helpless? Why couldn't I do anything back then? Stop. Don't go. Don't leave. And as if she read my mind, Serrano came back. Serrano leaves me with those words and walks to the gates with her usual brisk gait. Serrano's figure continues to go further and further away, it's slowly melting away into the summer haze. <sighs> my hand reaches out. A sharp pain runs through my body. Rina's right beside me, looking at me with the tears in her eyes. Where, where are we? This is a nice place. I hear Haruna's voice as well, so I open my eyes and examine my surroundings. Looks like I'm in the living room of an apartment. It's very cozy. I'm lying on a sofa. Across from me is another leather sofa, on which Haruna, Rusunji san and Yogana Kura san are sitting. As I sweep my gaze across the room, I see a small kitchen situated further back in the room, and a door. As I try to get up, sharp pain racks my body. I look in the direction of the voice and see Kakaru sitting next to Rina. Kakaru rushes up over to me. Wait. Kakaru rushes over to me. Over. Rushes to. Rushes over to me. Over. That doesn't make any sense. That's just. That's good. Never mind. 
What, what are words? They're very confusing to me. And puts his shoulder under my arm. Oh, that's a good song. Well, he kind of almost did get us killed, so he owes us one. <laughs> With the help of Kakura and Haruna, I managed to raise myself to a sitting position. Kusara-kun, Man, you don't know what happened to me. It was crazy. ちょっと待ってくれ。一体何が起こったのか。俺はまだよくわかってないんだが。朦朧としてるお前を支えながら、レーナちゃんが俺たちのところまで連れてきてくれたんだ。ああ、わかった。その時のお前を見た時はさす
But then I felt a sharp prick to the back of my neck, and my whole body felt like electricity was running through it, and I was able to stand again. I had felt some strange power well up within me, and that's what allowed Rita and me to escape alive. What on earth was that, anyway? Rita's question interrupts my train of thought. I try to give a lighthearted reply, but Rita doesn't look relieved at all. I don't have any reason to refuse, so I turn my body towards Rina. Still completely serious, Rina unwraps my bandages. I wonder how bad my stomach wound really is. I steal my nerves as I prepare to lay eyes on the gruesome wound on my torso, but what I see instead is a nearly healed injury. <laughs> What the hell was that that you ejected me with? Rina looks like somewhat depressed. Still slightly confused, I gather, try to gather my thoughts. I trail off, unable to finish my sentence. That man definitely stabbed me in the stomach, I know that. Hell, stabbed is a pretty light way of describing the gaping hole he made in me. But somehow I'm still alive. On top of that, my injury's pretty much healed. And what was that inexplicable power that welled up within me? I looked towards the palm of my hand. How on earth was I able to beat that guy? How on earth was able, uh, Rita able to make it out of there alive? How was I able to make it out of there alive? I should be dead! Yeah, you kind of do now. Rina softly touches the back of my neck. Microchip. Huh? I warily touch the back of my neck. A slight pain shoots through me, informing me of the fact that there is a small wound there, too. There's the faintest of bumps, too. If I hadn't been told it was a microchip, I'd just have thought it was a bug bite or something. However, for some reason I can't explain, I can just instinctively tell that it's not just a bug bite. What? Rina mumbles to herself for a while, takes a deep breath, and looks back at me. Hiroki, I have taken biology. I know what DNA is. Oh, Lady, I watched Jurassic Park, okay? I'm an expert on this stuff. I don't know. I'm more of a Levi person. Dogma? That's in the title. That's going to be important. That's an unfamiliar phrase. Oh yeah, we can click on these. No. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is, but the base which RNA, which is ribonucleic acid, is created by transcription. And one set of the RNA, mnRNA, is the base by which the proteins are created, translation. Then it is the proteins which act as the base by which DNA is created. The central dogma is this very concept. Boom, we're learning stuff today, guys. You can just not take that college biology course, just watch this video. Listen to Rina's explanation makes me feel like I'm taking a biology class. I cry like a little girl. Yeah. Um. It heals up by using little platelets in the blood. そう、自然に治る。これは細胞の代謝によるものよ。人間だけじゃなく、多くの生物が有している普遍的な機能ね。
じゃあこの細胞の代謝を活発にしたらどうなると思う Well, I would say the natural progression would be to start getting an adamantium skeleton installed. In response to my answer, Rina nods. So, no, Tori. Other Mukasno Rombundeva, Lin Niju Hachi, to you, Idenshi, Nichu Mokusta. Koreva, Saibo no Taisha, or reprogramming Sirkotoni Ote, Soski no Shufu, or Kosin Saseru to you, Monoyo. 実際、特定の RNA と呼ばれるものに結合するタンパク質を細胞内で過剰に生産するマウスを作成して、切断した指が再生されやすいことや、耳に開けた穴が塞がりやすいという。うん、interesting。I don't know if that's like a real thing or not, so don't. So. But it's pretty cool, right? It's getting harder and harder for me to follow what Rina's talking about. Must have been shown in my face too because Rina coughs a bit after seeing my expression. Expression that which is materialized. That which represents you. In more concrete terms, it refers to the changes that are expressed when your cells' construction and functions experience a change because of your genes. After that was Rena's expression darkness. Let me guess, someone's using it for bad things. あたしはあの時このままじゃヒロキが死んでしまうと思ったそれを避けるにはあのマイクロチップを使うしかない開発中でまだ人間の知見段階にもないものだけどそれしか方法はないと思ったの。I Rina bites her lip and she thinks back to what she saw. That. She must be talking about the crazy moves they pulled off right after she put the chip in me. I mean, I was like Raiden, man. Shooting lightning out. Hey, you did what you had to. Honestly, if it were me in, my, in your shoes, I would have done the same thing. There are tears in Rina's eyes. They look like they could start, start spilling out any second. I honestly didn't even get half of Rina's explanation. However, I do understand that Rina tried to save me. So she doesn't need to look so sad about it. But how do I tell her that? I just sit there, staring at my stomach. The wound from that night has practically disappeared. It's almost as if my memories of the fight itself are a lie. The pain in my body is steadily vanishing. A microchip that was created to enhance a person's healing abilities. It sounds unbelievable, but what's happening to my body right now is proof that it is real. Very real. It's unbelievable, but I have no choice but to believe it now. Who are you guys? You guys never really said who you guys actually were. Rina averts her eyes. I was at the research center. Why do you have that? It kind of looks like she wants to say something about that, but she doesn't pursue the topic any further. Hiroki, listen. Rina looks at me with a serious expression again. I don't know, I kind of like this. It's pretty cool. What Rina takes out the ballpoint pen she had in her breast pocket. That ballpoint pen? 
That's the same one she had last night, in the one that reflected a dull light. So that's what the pain I felt was, back when I was about to black out after taking that attack. It must have been Rena putting that microchip into my body. It looks really worried. Rina looks like she's about to cry again. Her hand that's holding the pen like device trembles. I silently cover her hand with my own. Seeing Rina look so confused, I simply tell her my true feelings. I love you. Wait, no, no, I don't. What am I talking about? One should not be so careless with their life. Rena looks at me with a complicated expression on her face. A mixture of both surprise and sadness. These words of mine won't console Rena at all. But they are my true feelings. No one else. That's right, Rina doesn't need to feel guilty at all. That's really what I want to tell her, but... Looks like Rina's slowly starting to get what I'm trying to say, and her expression slowly turns from sorrow to anger. She forcibly shakes my hand off of hers. Hiroki, are you saying that you're saying? Oh. I'm good. But I'm going to help you all here. I'm going to help you all here. I'm going to help you all here. I'm not going to help you all here. But I'm not going to help you. That's a very lax attitude to have about one's life. Now Rena's clearly mad. Understandable. We just tried to save you. You know, she tried. She saved us, and because of that, we're basically saying, eh, well, we could have died. It didn't matter. You know, that's, that's being real selfish and being kind of a jerk about the whole situation. I knew my way of thinking was only going to make her more mad, too. But even so, these are my true feelings. At least, well, right now they are. If I can go to where Serrano is, then I don't really care how I get there. If I'm gonna die anyway, might as well make it fast, right? You're spoiling the moment, you know. Her and I blowing her on her whistle. She leans towards me. Obviously, that's why I'm doing this. それまでは死んでも死んじゃダメなんじゃないかな。I did you tell them? You know we're wanted criminals, right? Why did you tell them? Damn it, Kakaru! I trusted you. Why did you tell them everything? Take it over from there, Resenji san starts speaking. Jitwa, Sorano kun no kyokunitsuitewa, Oretachin mo hikakaru tokoronga arunda. Do you koto deska? Jiken so so no say, whatever a case that's not connect to center no setsuits don't I get JC only. Kyoku data no kaiji o motomereba, you sent taking me to mirror cotton in a tail. Tokuni, Satsin Jiken no Hingai shano bai. I nod in agreement with her Senji Sans words. I mean, that makes sense, right? If you can get the memories of the person who died, well, solving crimes would probably be pretty easy. It's only natural that there'd be this kind of application for memory data. Okay. 
自殺したという空野くんについても亡くなる直前の記憶データについて問い合わせていたんだが。Interesting。それってよくあることなんですか。なくはない。が非常に稀なケースだ。Hmm. Interesting. さらに別件で気になる点がある。福岡、大阪。そして今回の東京コネクトセンターの支部近くで不審な事件が頻発しているんだ。Huh, I wonder what kind of、uh, what the reasoning would be to refuse memories. I mean, obviously, maybe the Connect Center is doing something real shady and they just don't want to know about it. Fukuoka and Osaka. The county's expression changes as she hears those names. Yapparika. Yapparika. 何か知ってるのか知ってるも何も私とエマはその不審な事件ってのに遭遇してるんだよニコ今回めでたく3回目ってわけだアカネクロスは手を握りフィスト今ジェネルは手を握りアカネクロス君たちにもそのうち詳しく話を聞かせてもらわねばな I'm interested in what Akane has to say too, but right now Rasenji is in the middle of a story, so we all turn back to him. Hanashino-tsuzuki-da-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-
I look towards Rita and Kakura. They both give me a small nod. Well, it wouldn't hurt to have more manpower on this, right? I think it's better if we don't meet anymore. Those words kept swirling around in my head. That's right. I still haven't asked her what she meant by that. If I want to discover the truth, I'll need all the help I can get. わかりました。君なら協力してくれると what are you going to ask us? Hi. Tokyo System Really? That's interesting. <laughs> Kakura and I exchanged glances. That's got to be us. I mean. Oh, uh, nah. Well, do, do we lie? Oh, man. These stairs. Oh, well, do I even get the choice to? I don't know. These stairs are made with a penetrating glare. Should I just come clean and tell him I have Serrano literally in the palm of my hands right now? Thinking about normally, well, the answer would be yes. I mean, if we're working together, it's only natural to offer all the information we have. But if answering truthfully gets me MRD and Kakuru's laptop confiscated as evidence, then, uh, well, the answer is not so cut and dry. I mean, the day Serrano's memory is getting wiped is getting closer and closer. But can I really lie to him right after I told him we'll work together? I mean, he said, he, I mean, even he said that it's hard for people, you know, to trust people. If we lie to him, He's not going to trust us, he's not going to want to work with us. And if I get found out later that I lied to him, Rosenji Santa Haruna would definitely hate me. Think. We gotta think. What's the best answer to give here? You know what, we're going to answer him in the next episode of Memories Dogma. I'll see you there. Take it easy, guys.